What's going on, good people? Welcome to the first official episode of The Traveling Jays. Make sure that you hit that like button, that subscribe, and that bell icon so we can stay connected. Today we are reviewing Sandals Royal Barbados. In this video, we will take you through the COVID protocols that we went through to travel to Barbados. We'll give you a tour of the room, the resort, definitely give you a peek at some of the top suggestions for excursions, all of those yummy details and more. And don't forget the food, we will definitely talk food. So let's get to it, starting with the warmest welcome we have received traveling the Caribbean. <laughs> well, hello. hello. <laughs> and what is this fancy thing? This is called Island Vibe. Island, Island Vibe. Yes, please. Are you already? Of course. Thank you. Maybe get yours to make the toast. Thank you, Miss. You're welcome. <laughs> Doorbell, so when hosting the here as well as Gina Fonsier, Bill the buzzer. Oh, 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 the 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 Seven fifty one Barbados time, mm -hmm. and unfortunately, we didn't know that we had to get our COVID test by a professional. Yeah, we did the drive -thru. drive through PCR test mm -hmm. that everybody requested. So because we didn't have it done by a medical professional, we are quarantined in this lovely room. It is a lovely room. This, there's plenty of places you could be quarantined. Until we get a negative COVID test. Mm -hmm. So we ordered everything on the room service menu. Yeah. Everything, because it's included. Mm -hmm. Everything. Everything, and we are now in our rooms. Well, let me, let me retract. Mm. Everything from one restaurant. <laughs> Because there are 20 restaurants. 20. So everything. So we ordered the steak, the lobster. Chicken. The crab cakes. Mm -hmm. Salad. Mashed potatoes. Mac and cheese. Everything. Desserts. E you ordered desserts? I ordered desserts. Listen, everything. We have a whole mini bar mm -hmm. that we, mm -hmm. every time we deplete it, they restock it. <laughs> yep. So. And we got our, uh, we got our hookup set up. So. Set up. We're going to watch Matrix, Matrix as soon as our food gets here. It's 
not a bad first night. It's not too bad. I feel like, listen, if we were negative for COVID on Monday, we'll be negative for COVID on Thursday as well. So I'm just hoping that we get our results first thing in the morning so that we can go explore the rest of the week as well. We got our COVID test back and they are negative, of course. We are free. We are free. The resort had plenty of things to do. As you can see here, I give you a good list of all of the activities all and around the resort. We tried to get to as many things as we could, but there was just too much to do. The resort is located right on the beach and it did not disappoint. Soft white sand, room temperature, clear water. It was absolutely gorgeous. The resort also provided professional photographers that would take pictures of you randomly throughout your vacation. The photo sessions were actually free, but you did have to pay for a photo book. We got a romance package that included 30 professional photos. So I decided to sprinkle some of those throughout our video just because. Among the wonderfully long list of things to do at the resort was the Lover's Lane Bowling Alley. This was a special treat because my husband actually loves to bowl and for some crazy cosmic reason I beat him. I think it's because it was my birthday. The entertainment staff definitely went above and beyond to make sure that you were having a good time. From start to finish, you felt more like family than a guest. Welcome to you, Janelle. Let's go. Happy birthday to you. 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 After all that dancing, what better way to end the night than a bubble bath under moonlight and stars in a soaking tub? It's officially my birthday, AKA Christmas, and what a special day it was indeed. The staff definitely spoiled me with happy birthday songs and wishes all day long. So it's 
Janelle's birthday. She is in the Red Lake Spa at Sandals Barbados. We are gonna get her all pampered. We are gonna sing her a lovely birthday song because she is awesome. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. That's what I said. We gotta record it. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. The spa was absolutely amazing. They did a fantastic job at pampering us. We got our own slippers, our own robes, and even got to keep the romance candles from our couple's massage. Definitely two thumbs up. Treat yourself. Now that all that pampering is done, it's time for the birthday girl to hit the beach. Here's a fun fact, we were there to celebrate my 40th birthday. This also happened to be the 40th anniversary of their I Love the 80s phone party. romance package came with a romantic dinner on the beach by candlelight can't say that the price was worth it but the atmosphere and the company definitely priceless It's adventure time! We always save money by booking excursions through vendors like Viator instead of the resort or a cruise ship where there will always be an upcharge. This excursion came with three stops, all listed on the top things to do in Barbados. The first stop was Harrison's Cave, and to say it was dope is an understatement. Take a look. It's the next stop was Hunt's Garden. This is actually the home of Mr. Hunt and he has turned his property into a very luscious garden. My husband loves nature and is very familiar with plants and flowers and herbs, so this was a real treat for him. And I like things that are pretty, so it was a win-win.
and finally Bathsheba Beach. This is definitely a photo opportunity and not a traditional beach stop. The shoreline was very rocky and the waves were pretty rough, but the beauty definitely forced you to pause and take it all in. Lots of opportunities for pictures with the rocks and we even found a little hidden cave. Um, so I definitely recommend for pictures and maybe just a little picnic. Snorkeling is our absolute favorite thing to do whenever we have the opportunity. This time we booked with El Tigre Catamaran, also through Viator, and it was wonderful. It came with three snorkel stops, drinks, snacks, a yummy lunch, which I apologize, I forgot to take a picture because I was busy stuffing my face. It was super good. And also transportation to and from the hotel. We definitely had the best nap on the way back, laying out on the net and taking in the sun and the waves. I highly recommend. stay at Sandals, you also have the access to any of their sister properties if it's available. This gave us access to a total of 20 restaurants, all included in the all-inclusive package. As much as we tried, we did not get to sample them all because we just didn't have enough time. But wherever we sat down to eat, we were not disappointed. They had something for everyone. They had French, they had Italian, Indian, Asian, um, buffet style, Caribbean of course, jerk shacks, pizza, snacks, you name it, there was food 24 seven, including room service, which we sampled as well. I did take the time to review two, starting with the greenhouse. This was a farm to table restaurant. It was delicious and we decided to be a little adventurous. Take a look. Okay, we are at greenhouse. Jazz is about to taste an octopus taco. Here we go. Adventure time. Octopus taco. As I expected, it's rubbery, chewy. Mm -hmm. Flavor-wise, it's good. I do. Something I would order again, but it's good. What do you got? Watermelon one? I have watermelon caprice. Caprice, huh? Okay. So, it's actual watermelon and tomato and cucumber. I had some cucumbers. You have a watermelon salad? Yes. It's like a watermelon salad. Go ahead and um, the taco uh, shell. The okay. taco shell in you is the same color. <laughs> Go ahead, get a piece of that baby. I don't want to try your art. Yes, come on. I didn't order that. The camera is watching. <laughs> Thank you. Now there's pressure. Now I got people looking. <laughs> okay. okay. Listen, for being adventurous. Oh, you can see the little suction thingies and everything. Ooh. Okay, I don't know what to do. Just okay. bite it. That's how. That's how normally how it goes. Just bite it. The verdict is. I could have sworn this octopus just moved. <laughs> this octopus taco is on point. Miss Rhonda, look, this is for you. See all this green stuff back here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Jazz got the steak? Yes. 
Yeah. He's got the, this is the farm to table steak. He's got his potatoes. Go ahead and take a quick bite and give us your thoughts. Ooh. Uh-huh. Nice okay. Okay, okay, so far so good. The farro risotto, risotto. I don't know how you pronounce that. And I've got some type of green situation over here. I'm not sure what that is, but that's fine. We're gonna try. And a little spinach. Okay. This is good. Like grits. <laughs> it's not grits. This is farro risotto. Very good. I'm happy. All right, we have the dessert review. What did you get? She's good. Let's go ahead and give me that rotation again. All that beautiful bean footage. Nice, nice, nice. Very good, very nice, very nice. This is what my lovely espousa. I got the lemon tart. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How come mine didn't get sound effects? <laughs> All right, taste test. Was it worth the wait? It is. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. All right. Try my lemon tart. All right, all right. So we get a little of this berry compote over here. We get a little of this top here. You know, from my from my days back on, a, you know, Master Chef. You know, you got to make sure you get everything in. La Parisienne, I think I'm saying that right. That is our second cuisine highlight in this video. This was a French cuisine restaurant on the very top floor of the building that we were staying in, and the view from the balcony was absolutely gorgeous. There was also a rooftop infinity pool and bar located just outside the restaurant. We also decided to be adventurous at dinner, but the most special part was definitely the gorgeous sunset. Okay, so I got ratatouille something, so something, something. And then you ordered the snail escargot something mm -hmm. and something. And then this is the tuna, the tuna something and something. Sushi. Okay, which one are you trying first? This is actually good. It's a cheese waffle and some ceviche. Okay, okay, okay. I have a ratatouille something or other. I don't, okay, I think I need to cut this. Yeah. Ready? Mm. Ratatouille. It's cuckoo. Are you supposed to put it on the baguette? Come on, let's just give me this topic. Come on. Y'all, I have never wanted to fool with no snails, but hey, carpe diem. Let us know in the comments if you'd be open to try. Just give it a try. I think we should do it at the same time. No, no, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead. Holy ghost. I don't want to look. I don't want to look. <laughs> that doesn't make me have confidence. Come on. I didn't want to look. Come on. Come on. Okay, okay. Okay, I'll be by your side. I'll be okay. by your side. Let's go. One, two, three. Let's go. Good. Open your mouth. Open your mouth and do it right now. <laughs> I'm 
I'm gonna need more bread. Yeah. <laughs> Can we get finished with lots of more bread? Yes, please. Yeah. All right, the main course. You ordered the chicken cordon bleu, which has cheese and ham in the middle, with some rice and the few vegetables and whatever that is. And you ordered them? I ordered the exact same thing, except there is no ham in mine. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. I am pretty confident that we will enjoy this, so I'm not going to record it. Our last night at Sandals was Soka night. This was extra special because my hubby is from the island of Trinidad and Tobago where the steel pan drum was invented. So this was a super extra special surprise. Needless to say, we thoroughly enjoyed the party, the music, the dancing, everything was perfect. We definitely recommend adding Sandals Royal Barbados to your bucket list. So it's Tuesday morning. We are packed up and just about ready to go. Uh, yesterday, we both took a PCR test so that we can get back into the U.S. You have to take a um, ne negative COVID test within one day of travel. So we did that yesterday, and we just found out this morning that one of us tested positive for COVID. So one of us isn't going anywhere. 